Hello, my name is John Stanier and I'm assistant head teacher at Great Torrington School. In this short film, I would like to explain how we mark people's work and provide feedback for them to improve. We have taken our inspiration for our marking and feedback policy from the work of John Hattie, an educational academic from New Zealand. John Hattie looked at over 800 studies of what has the biggest impact on people learning. He concluded that one of the most important strategies teachers can use is to give high quality feedback and give people op the opportunity to reflect on their performance. When I was at school, the teacher would teach us something. We would answer some questions about the topic in our book. The teacher would mark it and give us a grade and then move on. Even if I hadn't really understood it or my work was of a poor quality. At Great Torrington School, our teachers plan so that pupils regularly produce significant pieces of work. The first draft of these is written in black or blue pen. The work is handed in and the teacher will provide feedback to the pupil about how the work could be improved and how they can extend their learning. This is done in green pen. The teacher will also highlight liter literacy errors, for example any punctuation errors with a circle and write a P in the margin. If there are spelling errors then the symbol is SP. The teacher will not give the correct spelling, it is the pupil's responsibility to look up the correct spelling in a dictionary. V identifies where the pupil could improve their vocabulary. Other literacy codes are C to identify where a connective is needed and O when a more effective opening is needed. When the teacher returns the work to the pupil they are given DIRT, directed improvement and reflection time during a lesson. Pupils are expected to respond to the instructions and directions of the teacher using their purple pen of progress. Spelling mistakes are to be copied out at least five times to embed the correct spelling. The pupil needs to act on the feedback and improve their work, expanding their learning. Sometimes pupils will be asked to give feedback on their peers' work. When this happens, the pupils will write in pencil. If a pupil is having difficulty writing, then sometimes an adult might write for them. If this is the case, then the work will be in red, so we know it is the pupil's work written by an adult. We encourage all adults helping in the development of a pupil to give them feedback on their work. So parents, please feel free to comment in the child's exercise book, in green pen of course. So just to recap our very simple system, pupils write in black or blue ink, or adults write a pupil's words in red. Adults give feedback in green ink. Pupils give feedback to other pupils in pencil. Pupils improve their work using the purple pen of progress. It's been two years since that we've been embedding this system on marking and feedback. Because pupils revisit their work, redraft and improve it, their learning becomes more deeply embedded. Of course, if more learning is being embedded in the brain, then the pupils at Great Torrington School will improve their academic progress. And, as we have seen in our outstanding exam results in recent years, the more progress our pupils make, the better their exam results. Thank you for your time, and look at the school's YouTube account for other videos about how we're improving teaching learning here at Great Torrington School.